Let's Talk Science is a national organization, volunteer-based, uh, non-profit, and uh, we do outreach science activities, workshops that go out to communities, schools, First Nation reserves to deliver science activities, workshops for free. And today we're organizing the Let's Talk Science Challenge, which is a challenge for junior high students from grade six to grade eight. The competition exists to inspire students to uh, think in science engineering, technology, and math. Because our future is, is built on these four basic areas of studies. And of course, there are many other areas, and we want to get kids to be excited about science. I think it's a great opportunity to bring kids together from different schools, to be able to collaborate, to be able to be exposed to just different types of um, science. I think the competition aspect is really fun with the uh, the quiz show that they do, and I think that's also the design challenge this afternoon that they're going to do. It allows them to be um, creative and allows them to uh, stretch themselves. Well, a lot of people don't enjoy science, but I do, and a few of my other friends also do enjoy it quite a bit. Mostly, the value is it just the. Um, the chance to learn. So knowledge is power, and the more knowledge you have, the more power you have. Because one way or another, you're still going to be learning the things that you're learning now, but if you learn it earlier, that means one less thing that you have to learn later. So, and it opens up a wide door of varieties for when you get older, so for job opportunities. It's nice. The literature has shown that between the ages, like by the age of grade eight, if kids haven't been exposed to science, that the likelihood of them pursuing it would be significantly less because uh, they start to be thinking about high school and the courses that they want to take. So I think at this age, for them to realize science can be fun, science can be interesting, and science can be um, a great opportunity to uh, collaborate with other kids. I'm enjoying this because instead of looking at a page or a textbook, um, I get to like play with materials and actually explore with real life things. So um, it's, it's, it really boosts the experience of science if you're actually there touching and working with the materials rather than just looking at pictures and well pictures are cool but and paper and words but you know it's a lot more fun to just actually touch and play with the things. Oh no! Oh my god! Oh what did you 